So I'm uh, Mark Mark Erickson, and the operation that we we've named our uh, ranch here the Boss Ridge Ranch. I started conventionally farming here in 1994, doing conventional corn, uh, corn, soybeans, wheat, and alfalfa. In the uh, mid to late uh, 2000s, grain prices were pretty poor, so we transitioned the farm to all grass, all beef. Beginning in 2007 and by 2010, we were completely converted to all grass and all beef. It takes almost 10 years for the land to reestablish itself as grassland, which of course, this is what, what it was before the tall grass prairie. And of course, as a operator, you have to get re-educated in how you think about so many different things to, to make this work. And so most of this farm does not have tile lines in it. And uh, so it takes a while for the, for the grassland to develop a deep root system, which will uh, allow the water to all go down instead of pooling or running off. And uh, you have to have the, the organic matter built up in that, from the grass roots and so on, to get the, the proper soil structure so that it can hold the water. So what was happening, in 2012, 13, 14, 15, is the water here would go down, but it would keep going. And the difference is now, when we've had the dry spells this year, the pastures haven't gone dormant because we have that mulch layer uh, to keep the soil cool and to prevent evaporation. And also because we have that soil structure that will hold the water so it doesn't keep going going down into the subsurface. And that was a big part of the learning curve that I, did, that I didn't understand the first few years after we planted grass is you, you're, if it's dry, your grass is gonna go dormant because you don't have the mulch and you don't have the organic matter required to hold the water. And so now we're, we're getting pretty comfortable with where, where the land is at and the, the water's not pooling anywhere anymore. And it's all, uh, even with heavy rains, it, it sits for a very short time. It, we don't have any drowned out spots on the farm at all anymore. And there's no runoff. So we're able to harvest all the water. So I think, uh, I think the non-farmers if they can support that, uh, would be very helpful. And, and basically, you support that with your spending habits and 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 your living. <laughs>